In this lesson, we want to evaluate cube and fourth roots. One of the most convenient ways to do this is to have set up a table of squares, cubes, and fourths. Here, the x values go from 1 to 10. Here, are the x squared, 1 times 1 is 1, down to 10 times 10 is 100. x cubes, once again, we start with x equal to 1. 1 times 1 times 1 is equal to 1 cubed, or 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Down to 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. And finally, we have x to the fourth. If we take 1, 1 times 1, 4 times, 1, 16, 81, 256, and 625. Let me show you how to use this table to help you. Suppose we're looking for the cube root of 125. What we want to do, since the index is 3, we're looking for cube roots, we look in the column x cubed. We look for the number 125 and we find it. Since 125 is here, we go back here and the answer will be 5. The cube root of 125 is equal to 5, since 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Continuing, if we take the cube root of negative 125, recall that when we took square roots of negative numbers, we could not do it. If the index is an odd number, however, we can take odd roots of negative numbers. Please notice in this case, 125 is the number, and negative 5 will work. Notice if you take negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, and that's what cube root means. When you multiply the same number three times, you do in fact wind up with negative 125. Suppose we look at the fourth root of 81. The fourth root of 81. What we can do is go back up and look at our fourths column, and we find 81. And our fourth, notice if you go back to the beginning, our number is 3. Therefore, the fourth root of 81 is in fact going to be 3. By the way, another nice little trick is anytime you're taking the fourth root, you can take the square root of 81, which is 9, and then take the square root of 9, which is 3. Please notice the fourth root is the square root of the square root. So if you can find the square root of the fourth root, then you can do it in two steps. How about the fourth root of negative 81? Since this is in fact an even number, we cannot take the even root of a negative number. Therefore, the answer for this would be not a real number here. We're looking for the fourth root of 625. Let's try our square root square root method. You take the square root of 625, you wind up with 25. So we take the square root of the square root, and the answer is in fact 5. We also could have gone back to our table and noticed that the fourth root 625 goes back to the number 5. Okay, we have the cube root of 5. What are we going to do with the cube root of 5? It turns out that the cube root of 5 is irrational. It doesn't come out evenly because it's not a perfect cube. I'm going to put 1.710 and since this is an approximation we'll put the symbol to show this is an approximation. By the way, on your calculator, a convenient way to do this is we take 5, raise it to the power, must be in parentheses, 1 divided by 3. Notice the 3 here, the denominator is the same as the cube root. If we're doing a fourth root, we would take 5 raised to the 1 divided by 4 to get this answer. How about the cube root of 17? Once again, using our calculator and raising it to a power of 1 divided by 3 gives us 2.571 as an approximation.